Hello everybody. Even though this was considered a love reading and I asked the divine to show me what is happening for love for you guys, a lot didn't come out that had to do with love. So I'm going to post this as a general snapshot for love. So I hope that makes sense and you guys take care. Enjoy your reading. Hello my Virgos, it's Guiding Halo and this is going to be your relationship reading. I would say love, but man, all the readings coming out have been about from family situations it seems or about work, how money is affecting love, all these sorts of things, which you know is true in and of itself, but I think I'm going to start putting relationship readings instead of love because I, I myself as a reader and getting a little confused. It's like I ask about love, please give me love and uh, money and finance come out about how they're affecting your love life. I ask about money and finance and the whole reading is about love and new love coming out. So whatever, maybe the divine is trying to teach me something here. We have moving forward at a fast pace and justice coming in. So someone's been dealing with something in the relationship, justice wanting to move forward success that comes from dedication and self-discipline celebrating your accomplishments being in the spotlight for what you've created take the time to review the details carefully you will win in the end fair and objective decisions all right card number seven card number eight 15 equals a six you guys are all fine and balanced this month in the month of october which is the card of justice Cutting out the BS and looking for balance 100%. Feeling very leery about moving forward at a fast pace. Someone's coming in singing your praises and you're like, you almost don't buy it. Yeah, there's that celebration. Giving you reason and cause to celebrate, but you, you're like, uh, okay, should I or shouldn't I? <laughs> you're feeling very leery about this whole thing coming in here. There's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Got your finances figured out. Perhaps this is another Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone that's a little bit too good to be true, but we have an incredibly happy outcome here for this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'd say this is your guys' energy because it's all about celebration and success that comes from dedication and self-discipline. Healing. Self-discipline that it takes to heal. Moving forward fast towards celebrating the healing that you've had in your life and the success that's come from the healings you've had. Two people the divine's trying to bring together. Two souls in order to create, to be co-creators with the divine in this. I think that you and a significant other someone's coming into your life could be a leo but you and a significant other or cancer have been definitely trying to work on your finances and bring financial stability your way and perhaps in doing that the divine wants to let you know that because you've been faithful in building this for yourself and bringing this about that there's a very happy outcome in the love department helping you move away from rough waters to calm waters this could be with a past person or a new person. It's going to take great strength for you to even buy it for some reason. I'm really getting that because you are feeling guarded like all oh, heck. Yeah, soulmate. Moving away from rough waters to calm waters could involve the love of a soulmate or the love of a child. Whom is a Leo or Virgo Taurus Capricorn. We have confusion here about which to pick. Which trajectory do I want to go on? I have so many options right now. I don't even know what to do. Now, this is not all love options. These are just things that make you emotional. It could be about money. It could be about your children. It could be about you having strength. The strength to move forward could be about a job offer, buckling down, getting the work done. There's a lot of major arcana in this reading. Or is there? Why do I feel like massive changes are coming for us as Virgos? We have three cards of the number six right here. 
and then two cards. One is number seven, number eight, two cards of the number eight. So balance in finances and in love, hey? So we've been focusing on finances, getting everything in order, and then all of a sudden comes love. Virgo Tor, or I'm sorry, Virgo Taurus. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, feeling very passionate about putting the work in, buckling down, getting the work done alone. You've been very passionate about that, but I sense a Leo Aries or Sagittarius may be coming in to change that up for you. Perhaps there's something that happened with a soulmate. Could be a cancer that finally you're going to have results on where there have been a lot of confusion. You've been putting one foot in front of the other. Cancer could be. Chariot twice here. Take the time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end fair and objective decisions. In love. Two people could be having a cancer come your way who is going to help you have objectivity and make things fair in your life where they have not been. Two people that like each other, wanting to start a new, wanting to start a new in the field of love and possibly want to move forward at a fast pace, but balance needs to be sought first. Putting one foot in front of the other, watering something, growing something. Justice coming to you, but you need to use your intuition here. There could be a secret that you're not aware of dealing with someone from the past who is a cancer or something that They perhaps would like to start anew with you. <laughs> I hear y'all saying hell to the nah. Ain't happening. You could also have a Libra coming into your life that may want to move forward fast because you know each other well, it seems, whoever this is. You've been putting one foot in front of the other trying to create, that, like I said, that financial abundance. And there's two people that Divine's trying to bring together. This reminds me of the Libra reading, too, just because we've got a Leo person involved here, possibly a Leo person who's like the gatekeeper between confusion and happiness. Could be Aries Sagittarius as well. And Gemini. Man, a lot of major arcana. Here's an offer coming in. A job offer possibly or an offer to start something brand new and it's right under the lovers or not the lovers the two of cups so two people admitting they have feelings for each other now this could also be uh, Pisces using your intuition healing coming here you see like we have for me as a reader all of these uh, Major arcana are like nouns, person, place, or thing. The the minor arcana are like your adjectives and verbs. And it's like when you get constant, constant <laughs> major arcana, it's like you know that a lot is going to happen and there's a lot of players involved, a lot of people involved, but... You don't get a lot of the how or the why or the to or the when. It's a major offer coming your way. Could bring in financial abundance or make you feel incredibly abundant, which brings healing and is a wish granted in the form of the justice system, which has something to do with a cancer person, perhaps. Justice again. So the person coming into your life could be a Libra that likes you or vice versa and or uh also you could be dealing with something in the justice system or justice coming this person could be older than you if this is a job offer coming your way this is a ceo somebody who is going to offer this to you and it's divinely guided they do and it brings healing and balance into your life possibly balance between you and this libra person as well 
See, this is why I say Libra person, because man, I got the Queen of Swords out here now, cutting out the BS, but not doing so. Like you would you'd wield this wield this sword absolutely, but not unless you know all the story, the the whole the whole kit and caboodle behind it. You're not gonna do it unless it's fair and just. You're not gonna cut anybody at the jugular unless they absolutely You've seen 100% proof that it's deserving. There's an apology coming your way very possibly or a new person entering your life that's really a surprise. I think this is an apology that really surprises you. Yep, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We're dealing with somebody here who's going to have a tower moment and they're going to have to go inward. And this apology creates that tower moment. It's not something you were ever expecting. It puts you all up in your head. But it's the divine bringing justice your way. Will you see it as such is the question. I'm also getting that someone may come back in that did you wrong, offering love to you in some way, shape, or form. Please don't trust them. I'm really getting very strongly that you should not trust them if they're doing that. I believe it's a manipulative tactic. That's what this big offer could be as well. So I have what's happening here on this side. You are flying high right now. Remember, this is recognition for hard work done. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon be inspired by your example. Something in the past here in this situation, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. This is so beautiful. See what I mean about it not seeming so much like a love reading and more so like a, a familial or life or some situationship reading let's find out what spirit has to say here for you guys what does spirit have to say for you message from spirit postcard from spirit about this whole messed up situation it really feels to me as a reader so i don't know it could feel different to you maybe you have a lot of clarity about it but to me as a reader, it feels like there's confusion here and leeriness and justice is coming, but I don't know if you see how it's even coming. Over here, there is no mystery for us to unravel. Look at that. To me, it's a mystery. As we know intimately how connected we all are, how the web of creation works, and how spirit is in every aspect of life from the invisible to the visible, but it's important for humans to comprehend the complexities of things, how things actually work, because the most important threads in the tapestry don't make sense in the dimension you live in. That said, can you feel the importance of these current of this current of ah can you feel the importance of these currents of energy? That bring events together in miraculous ways can you understand with your mind but you can i'm sorry you can't understand with your okay you know what i'm going to start reading this over how's that sound dearest you over here there's no mystery for us to unravel as we know intimately how connected we all are how the web of creation works and how spirit is in every aspect of life from the invisible to the visible but it's important for humans to comprehend the complexities of how things actually work because the most important threads in the tapestry don't make sense in the dimension you live in. That said, can you feel the importance of these currents of energy that bring events together in miraculous ways? You can't understand with your mind, but you can know with your heart and soul. Trust that even though you don't know the how, the what, or the why, we do surrender to the mystery and have faith that the unseen world is watching you with loving eyes as spirit weaves your life's mysteries and beautiful ta tapestry in glorious technicolor. Now this is what I was saying about so many major arcana and not enough minor arcana to explain what's happening. It's almost like we don't even have a clue what's going on right now, but it is going to be mofo and big. That's all I got to say. Like this is a big deal. Your money coming, 
flying high emotions healing. I mean, anything that brings that in is a big deal. I hope this resonates for somebody out there. Blessings to you and take care.